Hey guys, no gas Nico here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell because you're going to want to stay updated on this. I just got two phone calls from the dealership. I made a phone call uh, just after lunchtime today. Left a message for them to call me. Said that I don't feel the 2017 Nissan Leaf is safe with the battery in such a degraded state. It's got diminished capacity and it also throws over discharge fault codes. With my wife driving on the expressway, I said, I want to loan her vehicle because that car is now no longer safe. And I told them I didn't feel that I was going to record this and let them know that the date and time that this is happening. And if anything, God forbid, was supposed to, would happen because of their lack of responsiveness, I was going to hold them liable. So what we have uh, at 2.04 p.m., they called me back. And that's when I talked to the service guy. And told them this that you know hey the car is unsafe and i told them that i would hold them liable if anything god forbid would happen because the car does fall, fall down on the expressway on my wife and that's not a safe condition i-94 it's a very busy expressway so we we need another vehicle to drive to replace this one so he's going to talk to his manager and give me a call back so at around i think it was like 4 12 I put the call logs up here so you can see the actual time I, that they called. Uh, I was four, little after 4, 10 p.m. Very official sounding guy called me back. No noise in the background. Had a very, I mean, almost like a radio personality voice. And he was asking me, you know, if I felt the car was unsafe. I said yes because of a long period of time for the battery. Um, I want a loaner. And then he started saying, well, you bought the car a year ago, May. And I said, yes. He asked me, well, how much I paid for it. Told him, then he asked me, well, what do you think the car is worth today? I said, it's worth a new battery. I said, I know, I see what you're doing here. I do not want a buyback. I want you to make good on your warranty. I want a battery. I do not want a buyback. I didn't buy the car to sell it back to them. I bought the car to keep it. So as soon as I made that stance, he just said, thank you very much. And ended the phone call so i don't know where this is going um they didn't give me any decision on whether or not they're going to give me a loaner vehicle so i did want to record this so it is june 29th 2023 and these are the times that they called me back and i have my call logs posted up here keep it as a record please if anybody has issues like this start drop it in the comments tell me your story we need to hold Nissan accountable. This is the same battery that is going into brand new standard range Nissan Leafs today. I don't see a six, eight, nine month wait on brand new vehicles being sold with the exact same battery that they're gonna give me on, under a warranty replacement. So why is there a shortage of batteries for warranty replacements, but not a shortage of batteries for production runs? That's a good question for Nissan to answer on why they're not replacing these batteries. I think it's a strategy that they're trying to force people into buybacks, kind of push it out, get people frustrated. I think that's shameful. It's gonna be a black tarnish on their reputation. Um, I didn't feel, I didn't wanna feel this way, but I'm going through it, I'm feeling this way now. So if you're going through it, hit me up in the comments, let me know, tell me your story. And uh, we need to make Nissan accountable. It is their warranty. They're the ones that guaranteed that this battery would last eight years, 100,000 miles, and not drop below nine capacity segments. It didn't meet that criteria. So it's their criteria, their warranty. They have to replace it. So again, thanks for listening to my rant. Sorry I went on so long, but I'm going to keep posting updates. Every time I get an update, I'm going to do another video. That way, this will be my video log of their my interaction with them uh that way if anything comes up to where i may have to pursue litigation um i'm gonna have this all on youtube all the videos that way i can just download them and i can show the dates posted dates and times i don't want it to come to that i just want a new battery for my car uh my wife's car actually so that's where i'm at that's what's going on um hopefully it doesn't get to the point where lawyers are involved because at that point it just gets ugly and um, let me know. Let me know what you think. What, what did you do? Did you do something that helped this process? Did you 
uh, make some phone calls or did you send some emails or I mean, is there anything that you did that maybe I could do that would help my situation? All right, let me know. Um, drop it in the comments and let's see where it goes. And don't forget to uh, subscribe and click the notification bell. So every time something happens, you get an update and you can see what's going on. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you and God bless.